Welcome back to the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ATP and WTA rankings for the week. And we had a lot of the top 10 playing this week. And of course, the next week, of, well, we're going to have a lot of players playing at the Canadian Open. But this week, we had a lot of the top 10 for the women playing and some big changes to the top 10. Let's go have a look at the results from last week, though, because we had some big winners from last week as well. Starting with the WTA winners from last week, only two tournaments, both on hard courts now. Starting with Samson over, taking the win over Kanepi at the City Open in Washington, winning that one in three sets. 4-6-6-3-6-3 to lift her second trophy, and she got a boost in the rankings. Over at the San Jose Open, Kazakh Kina capped off a very good week, defeating Rogers in a very long final, 6-7-6-1-6-2, and she got a boost in the rankings, a career-high ranking for her. We'll talk about that in a second. Over in Los Cabos, we had Daniel Medvedev, world number one, finally winning a trophy this year, defeating Norrie in the final, so a good win there for Medi. 7-5-6 love in the end, so he gets his US Open campaign off to a good start. And Nick Kyrgios, he wins the City Open open against Nishioka 6-4-6-3 with another good win there and he's won his second trophy at that event so very good results from some key players especially going into the US Open series that we'll be watching a lot over the next couple of weeks. Let's start with the WTA rankings for this week because as I said we had a couple of changes to the top 10. Iga Swiatek clearly still on top she is not going to be moving anytime soon. She stays at number one. Contivate she comes in at number two but Maria Sakkari she drops down to number four after having a poor result last week in San Jose. And Bedosa, she goes up to number three after winning all the way to the semifinals. So it's so tight up the top of the rankings. Jabur, she comes in at number five. As I said, very close behind the other two above her. Sabalenka, she comes in at six. Pagula at seven. Muguruza at eight. But we have a big change to the top 10 with Kazakina winning a big trophy last week in San Jose. And she gets to a career high. Number nine in the world, three spots higher than last week. And Raducanu, she stays in at number 10 for now, kicking Danielle Collins out completely after not being able to save the points that she won last year at this time. So she's gone out eight spots outside of the top 10 completely. Having a look at the WTA finals race now, and we had some big changes as well with Sviantec staying on top and she's qualified well and truly. Jabur stays at number two, but again, Kazakina with a good week last week, she goes up three spots into that number three slot, adding 500 points for winning San Jose, pushing down Goff, who's at number four now, and Pagula, who goes down to number five. Maria Sakkari, she dropped down to number seven, making way for Bedosa, who went up to number six, again, making the semifinals of San Jose. And then a little bit of a change down the bottom with Kudamatova going up one spot, also made the semifinals of San Jose, and Belinda Bencic goes down to number nine after not playing last week. And Danielle Collins, she stays in at number 10 for now, but I expect this time next week, we will have a new number 10 because Collins is not playing, whereas everybody else in the top 20 on the WTA is actually playing in Toronto, which is worth some serious points. All right, let's have a look at the players that were outside the top 10 who got a boost in the rankings. And Shelby Rogers, making her biggest final of her career. Unfortunately, couldn't win a title, but got to a career high number 30 in the world this week. Career high for her, which is 15 spots higher than last week. So making the final of a big event, she got rewarded. And Samson over. She won a title at the City Open, and she goes up 18 spots to number 42 in the world. So players that did well this week outside the top 10, getting a big boost. Some of the players that went down in the rankings this week, we had Sharif. She goes down 13 spots to number 60 in the world. And Pekovic, she goes down outside the top 100 now at 108, which is 40 spots lower than last week. Both had points from last year that they couldn't defend and lost them all and dropped down in the rankings because of it. All right, looking at the ATP rankings now and not too many crazy changes at this stage with only a couple of the men playing. Daniel Medvedev stays at number one, adding to his total after winning in Los Cabos. Zverev stays in at number two with Rafa staying at number three. Alcarez is still at number four for now with City Pass very close behind him. So next week in Montreal will be a very interesting tournament for both of them. Djokovic is staying at number six for now, but expect him to drop down over the next few weeks. Weeks. Kasper Ruud at 7, Rublev at 8, Felix Ogieli at 9, but Yannick Sinner, after choosing not to play this week and defend his Washington Open trophy, he lost 500 points, dropped out of the top 10, two spots lower than last week, and making way for Hubi Hercatch, who makes his way back into the top 10 this week, heading into Montreal. But a lot of those names, especially down the bottom half of the top 10, will be playing this week, so expect some changes this time next week. Having a look at the race of the finals, and again, not too many changes because not many of these names have played. With Rafa staying at the top at number one, he is so close to qualifying. Only a couple of hundred points 
and he will be qualified for the ATP Finals. Alcaraz, he's still at number two with Tsitsipas at three. Kasper Ruud at four. But Daniel Medvedev, he goes up one spot higher than last week after winning in Los Cabos. Pushing Zverev down to number six. Medvedev comes in at five. And after not playing Wimbledon, he is starting to regain some of the points. So it's good to see Medi back on the winner's list. And Zverev, we don't know when we'll see him. So I don't know if he's going to be in the top 10 for long. Rublev, he stays at number seven. Oje Aliassime at number eight. Taylor Fritz comes in at number nine. And Novak Djokovic rounds out the top 10. But this time, next week he might be out of the top 10 completely because he doesn't get to play until after the US Open and a lot of the guys behind him are very very close in the race to the finals and very close to kicking him out of the race completely having a look at the players that outside the top 10 have gotten a boost this week and it was the finalists from the City Open Kyrgios he goes up to 36 in the world which is actually 26 spots higher than last week and Nishioka he's almost cut his ranking in half 42 spots higher than last week to number 54 in the world going into the US Open series in Canada next week so a couple of guys Guys played well last week at a big event that was worth a lot of points and going up the ranks and Kyrgios is trying to get seated at the US Open so we'll see how he goes. Players that went down to the rankings, McDonald went down 24 spots to number 72 after dropping all the points from the final that he made last year in Washington. And Dominic Team he goes down 60 spots after having a couple of good weeks. He's now down at 232 in the world after dropping points from three years ago that was still hanging around so Dominic Team on the verge of making it possibly back to the top 100 now has to work even harder to earn his spot at the US Open. So there you have it. They are the rankings for this week and some big changes on the women's side. Not too many on the men's side, but like I said, this week will be crucial. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the rankings this week? Are you surprised? buy anything. Of course, Novak Djokovic, I mean, how long will he stay in the top 10? We know after the US Open, he's going to drop a lot of points. So who knows? He might drop out of the top 10. I don't know. But Daniel Medvedev kind of secures his spot at number one for now. A lot of things are going to change over the next few weeks. Let me know down in the comments below. What are you most surprised about with the rankings this week?